All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to start your own merch store for your clothing brand, something like this, maybe something like these. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Jeff Blute here, back with another video for you guys. Uh, in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to start up your own merch store for zero dollars that's right zero dollars and i'm going to be showing you a couple methods one is going to be kind of integrated with beat stars and a pro page so if you're a producer and artist who uses one of those you'll want to watch that method the other method is going to be using a site called teespring um, so if you're someone who an artist that maybe doesn't have a, a website or a store yet through beat stars a teespring may be the one for you but yeah real quick you know if you're a brand artist producer uh, maybe you want to start a clothing brand or something like that this is a great way to do it so i have a background playing music i've been playing guitar for 16 years now i've been playing in bands since i was in high school actually middle school but regardless you know i was there back in the days where we would buy a t-shirt press we would put up a bunch of money for the press then we'd have to buy shirts go shopping for the clothes pick up colors and then we'd have to have someone print our logo out onto a some sort of sticker that was could be pressed onto these t-shirts um, and that also cost money so it was a lot of money up front and then we had to spend a lot of time actually laying the t-shirts out laying it down pressing it and just assembly lining it basically and then even moving to the method of ordering shirts in bulk just having a company print them for us you know now we're spending three four five six maybe seven hundred dollars for a box of t-shirts in different sizes and colors and basically now we have this box that takes up space and we're seven hundred dollars in the hole or so and now we've got to pay our way out of there and start making money we have to earn that seven hundred dollars back before we even make profit and it's just not it's tough especially when you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of fans so the box ends up collecting dust and um Maybe some people buy shirts, but you don't end up selling all of them. Or maybe you do, and that's awesome. But it's, some people just don't have that money to put up like that, especially if you're someone like me that runs this business all by themselves, and I have a family, I'm a dad, I have a job. You know, I have a lot of, I don't have a lot of time, and especially, I can't be pressing t-shirts, um, and I don't have a lot of money to order t-shirts and then need to ship them out afterwards. So this, with these stores, this method is called print on demand. And the way this works uh, is similar to kind of like drop shipping. So if you've heard of drop shipping and that whole new craze, um, basically what it is is you yourself are going to sell a product or in this case clothing merchandise let's say this hat right here someone wants to buy this hat they pay twenty dollars for it i take that twenty dollars i give the order to printful they have my logo already uh, so they'll go ahead and print it onto this hat but they'll come back and say okay it's going to cost twelve dollars to print and ship this hat so i give them the twelve dollars and i'm just sitting at home left with my eight dollars so um, i immediately just took the profit cover the printing cost uh, and the shipping cost and taxes and fees and all that now they're going to ship it out to the customer who just bought my hat and i just sit at home play with the family maybe make some more beats and just keep keep working it's a great method you know it's you're really like having a team people out there that are willing to do the work for you and it doesn't cost anything to sign up for printful or teespring they make all their money in the printing costs that they're going to um, charge you anyways so it's not like they're not making money out they don't need to charge you a subscription uh, there may be subscriptions for uh, more features and things like that but at the base level you do not need to pay for these so yeah so we're gonna dive right into my BeatStars account here uh, we're gonna take a look at how I have that integrated with my pro page so this is for all the people with BeatStars and pro pages who want to use Printful um, if you don't have that uh, you're gonna want to skip ahead to the Teespring section which I'll leave a link or you know a timestamp somewhere on the screen or down below in the description so uh, keep an eye out for that and let's see all right so we're in the BeatStars account um, so we're gonna go to my media and we're gonna click on marketing integrations I'll block that out later um, okay so um, when you go into the marketing integrations, there's a lot of things in here that you should be using if you're not already, uh, MailChimp, FanConnect, but you want to scroll down to see Printful, and you're going to click the check details button. Um, see me, I already have a bunch of products imported, um, but if you don't, you're just going to see um, probably in a, this page right here where it's saying connect to Printful, um, and it just basically gives you a breakdown of how it works, um, basically what I explained before. Um, and then this is the settings. This is where you're going to connect your store, which I'll go into in a minute. 
Um, if you're new to Printful, if you haven't made an account yet, you're just going to click this uh, sign up button here and make a free account. All right. So um, once you're logged in, it's going to look something like this. You may not see this because this is just a recent sale that I had. Um, but over here, you're going to see orders, product templates, and there, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I honestly don't even know what half this stuff does, but it, I'm not here to teach you about Printful uh, fully. I'm just here to show you how to um, use it to connect it and stuff like that. So here we go. Uh, product templates. Um, so basically, you would go in here and you're going to start creating templates, um, products. And now for me, um, I already have a logo. I already spent money on a logo. Now, um, you know, at the beginning of this video, I said it's not going to cost you any money. That really depends on what you already have in place. If you don't have a high quality logo, um, I recommend that you pay someone to b make you a good logo. Um, I can drop some links to some creators that I know that are really good artists. Um, if you don't have the funds to do that, I recommend checking out like canva.com uh, or the Canva app. Uh, there's a bunch of free templates there that you can use to make logos. Um, so that's a good one. You're going to want a logo of some sort, some sort of file that you can put onto these um, particular clothing. Um, some of these are designs that I've done. Some of are paid by other people so like this one is one I did this is the hustle beast talent shirt which you can actually see right here on my store um, so yeah you're just gonna um, you're gonna go down to this right here create more product templates and you're gonna pick out what you want to make and now you can pick anything from shirts to sweatshirts to pants shorts hats socks backpacks um, pillows uh, artwork uh, phone cases it the there's a lot of choices here that you can slap the logo onto and it's awesome um, So once you pick your design, you know, we'll say we'll pick a shirt. We'll go to all shirts Just gonna show you guys real quick how easy it is to do this um, And one thing to keep in mind here you'll notice uh, the, the prices here for shirts um, That depends on how high quality you want to spend uh, or you want the shirts to be for people uh, now keep in mind the higher your cost the higher you're probably gonna have to sell these for just to make a decent profit on um, so I try to find something that's lower uh, usually around ten dollars like uh, I'll show you guys the one that I usually use oh, it's gonna take me all the way back here okay we're gonna go to men's uh, we'll just go to t-shirts should be one of the first ones Oh, they may have removed it. There was one I was using that the cost on the shirt was like $7. Ah, here we go. $7.95. And uh, part of that is just because they only offer black, gray, and white, um, which a lot of my merch is anyway. So um, it's just a very kind of thin material shirt. Um, I didn't want anything too thick like champion shirts. Nothing against champion. Um, I do have some champion merch on there, but um, yeah, this is a good one to start with. $7.95 for your printing cost. That's pretty low, so if you put up a $20 t-shirt, that still leaves you some good room uh, to make a profit on. Um, yeah, so you pick your shirt. Uh, we'll pick this one, for example, and then you can either add in the text, uh, clip art. I've never done clip art. I usually have a logo of some sort already um, pre-designed, but I guess, yeah, Maybe you could create something in here, depending on what your brand is. Um, if you have a sport and fitness brand, kind of have some like yoga poses here, a little Apple Watch. Um, but I'll usually choose a file, and you can upload your different logos. So um, we'll upload that logo. You can adjust as needed. Um, it'll kind of give you a box of where the logo should be. See how it cuts out there? It's not going to get printed well if it's there. So you want it to fit somewhere in here um, snap to the center maybe pull it up a little bit whatever looks good to you and then you just hit continue and then you name it and then you'll save that product template um, and then once you go to add that to your store so I'm just going to back up uh, go back to my product templates I don't think there's anything that I haven't added to the store yet um, but we'll just use like this as an example add to store um, and this is where you're gonna set your prices and so this is where you're gonna set your prices so um, you pick your colors proceed to mock-ups 
Um, this is really cool too. They'll give you a lot of mock-ups of like people wearing the hat, what it would look like. So these are great for advertising um, because you don't have to pay anyone to go, um, you know, model these for you. Um, so you can use those, pick whatever one you want to use. I guess I'll use this one. Uh, you name it whatever you want and then you proceed to your pricing. And so here we go. Print full price is $14. If I put a retail $21, um, that's going to be about $6.05. Now, something to keep in mind here that I didn't realize at first was that it's only the print, the $14.95 is only the print cost. Um, when taxes and, or shipping actually, it's the shipping cost that's going to also come out of your profit. So if it costs $3 to ship, that's coming out of here. Um, you're going to have to pay for that. Um, which kind of stinks, but it is what it is. So it's something to be mindful. I would probably change this shirt, uh, this hat to like a $30 price point. So now I'm making like a $15 profit. If it's a $3 uh, shipping cost, $12 profit now instead of a three. So um, things like that to keep in mind when you're doing this. Um, so once you start adding your products and things like that and getting your logos on there, um, what you're going to want to do is then connect it. So um, if you go to the Beat Stars and you go to Printful Settings, um, right here it's going to look for an API key. Uh, so you're going to need to grab that from Printful. Uh, and where you would find that is, let's go back to my Printful. Uh, I believe it's under Settings. Um, it has been a while. Here we go. So Stores API. Click on API and you're going to select your store. I have two stores. Um, this is the blue beat store so this is my API key so I'm gonna copy it and all you got to do is paste it into here and save it and now all your products are gonna show up down here and all you got to do from there is just sync all the products um, which you should then see like on this page here and then uh, once you have them once they're starting to show up on this page um, all you really need to go to uh, do is go into your pro page make sure the merchandise tab is activated uh, and then highlight a couple products that you want to sell so I think I have this one highlighted this one's highlighted uh, my hat and my shirt those are all highlighted um, so those are the ones that are going to show up on my page so we'll show you guys real quick what that looks like when you have a beat stars page All right, here we go. This is my merchandise tab. Uh, these are the four highlighted products that I had. I wanted something that had my logo, but also my hustle and grind merch that I dropped recently. Um, if you guys want to grab some of that, you can do so right there. Uh, and then you can browse all the merch uh, and anything you have is going to show up here. So there we go. That's how you integrate it with BeatStars. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you guys run into any issues, uh, you can reach out to me. There's also videos out there that BeatStars has done to show you how to do this, but I figured I would create my own. Um, all right, so now we're gonna talk about Teespring. <sighs> Gotta stop itching my nose. So now we're going to start talking about Teespring. Um, so let me jump over to there. Uh, so just go to teespring.com. That's T-E-E-S-P-R-I-N-G.com. Um, you're going to want to create an account. And then once you create an account, you're going to probably come into some sort of dashboard that looks like this. Um, they've updated it since I was last in there. So everything looks new to me. Um, but there's some cool videos here on how to create products, how to upsell. Um, things on Instagram so celebrating pride um, domains and uh, selling on Linktree if you guys don't know what Linktree is it's just an app that allows you to connect a bunch of links to one link um, so that's a cool service um, so similar thing they are print on demand service you're gonna put your logo onto some designs um, they'll take care of the printing and shipping and um, you just collect the profit now I haven't actually sold anything on Teespring, I do have a couple stores that I've started making that I haven't um, actually sold yet. But the concepts of the payment and how it all done is the same. Um, my girlfriend uses Teespring for her brand, Liz Wadman Creativity. Um, so you can check out her store as well, uh, LizWadmanCreativity.com, uh, just to see what that might look like. 
um, but once you get logged in uh, you're just gonna want to go to the listings tab and this is where you're gonna create your products so uh, you can click the start designing button up here and then same thing choose your products um, they have a bunch as well um, everything from home lifestyle stuff to um, typical clothes t-shirts um, so a lot of cool stuff I guess some digital products now um, a lot of stuff that you can do it seems like they're doing a lot of integration um, and a lot of updates uh, speaking of integrations you can connect these to like your YouTube apparently your twitch link tree uh, discord and stream alerts um, so that's pretty cool um, I actually didn't know that I did know YouTube I didn't know about the others but if you ever watch any of the bigger YouTube channels um, you'll notice sometimes they have merch underneath their videos and that's usually by Teespring uh, I think like nine times out of ten it's usually a Teespring link um, could be wrong though but um, yeah um, I'll show you what the stores I have just to show you um, what they look like now that's the nice thing about Teespring is if you don't already have some sort of website that you're integrating aside from your social media um, the they're gonna give you a link to basically a storefront uh, for free um, and you can now connect like custom domains to them so you can go to like GoDaddy and get your brand.com um, Ugh. All right, so here we see welcome to the new store experience. So they have done a lot of updates to make it um, integrate a lot better and just a lot more user friendly, it seems. So um, I'm just going to exit out for now. It'll usually give you a tour. Uh, but this is one of my brands. This is Voyager Clothing Company. This is a kind of like people who like adventure type stuff, uh, clothing brands. So I'll show you the store. Uh, this is the current website for it. Now you can see it's kind of long. Um, no one's really going to want to click that in, but these days you're usually um, giving them a button to click on anyways that has this link hidden behind it. So um, like your bio, people are just going to click the link in the bio. It's not like they have to type it out, so it's not a big deal. But if you want a more professional domain, um, you can do that right here. Uh, but we'll click on the store and this is what it looked like. It's got my logo up here um, and it's got the products that I have so far. And yeah, same thing. You can click on them, choose your size, and you can add to cart. And then I just have like a simple description, um, nothing too crazy. And yeah, that's pretty much it there. And then you can start promoting this, and people can just order right from you. Um, I've just been keeping it simple with the t shirts. Um, I'll show you my other store. Um, this one, these dead threads. This is like a horror themed kind of clothing line this is a good one i like to promote around halloween um, or will start promoting around halloween um, this is all like freddy vs jason type artwork um, that i purchased and licensed and yeah hopefully around the the halloween time um really anytime i could be pro promoting this now if i promoted it to the right audience but um i'm still working out the kinks um and getting used to teespring but it is a great tool. So now you have a merch store. Um, as an artist, um, you know, you can put this in all your social media's platform and make some extra money. It's really great, um, especially for someone like a producer. For me, all my clients are rappers, singers, um, sync libraries, people that aren't my friends and family. My friends and family, they don't sing, they don't rap, or they might be musicians a little bit, but they're not in the same kind of realm that I am in the hip hop scene and they don't necessarily buy my products but they don't it's not that they don't support me but they have no use for my products that i sell and that's okay um, because i am targeting a different audience um, but when i started selling my merchandise now i started getting sales from family mem members from friends i went to high school with or i'm friends with now that aren't musicians but love what i do um, and it was awesome to see that because now they can walk around rocking the merchandise rocking my logo being basically a billboard for me to promote it people are gonna ask oh that's a cool hat that's a cool shirt where'd you get it oh my homie blue he has this store um, so you know it just opens up a whole new world of possibilities for people to support you and for you to monetize your craft here so um, yeah and that's pretty much it right there for the video guys um, so whatever one you choose you know 
uh, start designing, put them up there, and just promote it. And I'm sure someone's going to want to uh, cop a few shirts, maybe a hat or something like that. Um, and you just sit back and collect. So pretty awesome right there. So um, if you guys like this video, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It'll update you every time I upload a new video. Uh, I apologize. It's been a while since I did a tutorial video. I've been mostly just uploading beat videos, but um, I do want to drop more videos like this. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions or just tell me that you liked it and say, do this again, do more of these, um, or even give me some ideas of videos I could do next. So, um, but I hope you all have a great day. Keep chasing your dreams.